can you please share with us your name, what school you come from, and how old are you? Um, my name is Isabella Flores. I'm 16 years old, and I go to Pasco High School. Come on, come on, only 16 years old, ready to testify what God is doing in her life. Isabella, can you please share a little bit about your story before coming to Hungry Gen? Um, at four years old, uh, my parents divorced and that left my single mother moving to um, Washington from California and where my grandparents um, helped raise my mom, um, me and my sister. The absence of my father from like the divorce and stuff like left a hole in my heart and it left a lot of pain and stuff. And in 2018, I got introduced to the new age in crystals. And through that, I was seeking, I was seeking um, healing. And through those crystals, they promised um, healing. They promised strength. They promised um, to like seek or communicate to like the spiritual world and stuff. And that's what I used. Wow. So only at 16 years old. So Isabella, can you please share with us how your encounter was when you actually came to Hungry Gen and how it all came to place now? So um, my aunt introduced my mom to Hungry Gen and she was like, I found, I found the truth. Jesus is the truth. And here um, there's a church right down the street from your house. And that's where I heard about Hungry Gen. And through that, I went to the camp. And every single day through the services, I received healing. I received breakthrough. Wow. It was like a beautiful prayer. And God spoke to, to me through one of our leaders. And it was something that only he would know and something I never shared with anyone. And it truly healed me and my heart like every single day I was there. Wow, this is why we have, you know, what we do with the youth, the summer camps to see not only the fun and the games, but where our students actually get to encounter Christ, where our students actually get to come to a point and the Lord meets them there. You know, I, we know we promote, yeah, it's going to be really big and fun and games, but this is where our students get to really experience the true raw power of God, where lives are changed completely. Isabella, can you please share, now that your life was changed, how's it been like? I know, I know you mentioned to me a little bit about what happened only two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, um, I received the Holy Spirit by praying over my whole family, my grandparents, my siblings, and uh, his voice like spoke to me and he told me, I looked at my grandfather and he told me, go pray on him, go pray on your grandfather. And then I prayed on him and then um, like I was looking around the room at my family members and the voice just kept coming in my head. It was like, pray on your sister, pray on your grandmother, um, pray on your little brother. I literally put my brother to sleep on the floor like he was snoring. And um, I looked over at my stepfather and then I heard a voice and it was like, go pray on your stepfather. And I was like, what? And then um, it was like, go pray for him. And so I went to go pray for him and that was like, um, like a breakthrough for me, like just praying over my whole family, even if I was confused or like I didn't know like what to do, he just said do it and you can't ignore it and it was such a beautiful like experience and the Holy Spirit was so strong in this room. Come on, come on. <laughs> Isabella, for those who maybe are dabbling into the crystals and think that it's harmless because it's natural or it's nature, what is something that you would share with them today? I would share with them that God is a gentleman and he's not gonna like force you to like give your life to him, but like those things are very deceiving and the only like healing or power you can like receive is from the Lord, like it's only him.